Okay, here we have the heat chamber, and I've made the fitting for the thermocouple to go in. So that is the thermocouple, and that screws in here and pokes out above the hole down there, so you can read the temperature of the gas. And what I'm going to do now, I welded that all in yesterday. What I'm going to do now is I've got to finally attach this to that so it's not going to come off anymore because then all the inside of this has got to be lined with fire clay. I need to poke something through that hole so I don't bung it up. And then it's got to be cooked in the oven so we've got the fire cement. So we're going to give that a go in a minute. Not quite sure what's the best approach after I've cleaned this up but uh, we'll suck it and see. Okay, we're going to join that to this now, and there's no gasket, I've just, oops, I'm going to lead out of the way, there's no gasket, I've just got both faces machined off absolutely flat, and I'm just going to use some, some high temperature gasket sealant stuff to seal it up, so we'll, now we'll see if we can see down, I've lined it all with fire clay, I've poked a bit in here and then pulled it out again, so you've got, let me see. We can... You can't see through it, but I can see it's clear. I wouldn't employ me as a plasterer, I will say that. But now I'm going to stick it in the oven and let that uh, let that set for a while. Is the fire clay all set with the thermocouple inside? I don't know. If we can get some light down it. No, I'm not going to get any light down it. But uh, that's all been cooked. A bit bubbly, but that doesn't really matter. And then we've got the lid. And this, which the wire's going to go around, we're going to set into this once I've made the piece that goes under that and the electrical connections will come through here through little insulated tubes a flexible mica and uh, that will connect to the 240 volt well the controlled 240 volt so this is the pretty much complete heat chamber you've got the little posts here which are fire cemented in it's almost a bit hot still they um, they go inside there the tungsten tungsten wire will be wrapped around here to heat the air as it comes through they're the two electrodes which are insulated you've got mica washers here to insulate them on the top and then uh, the air will come in here I'm going to have a piece on here and it's got to have several connections because I also need air to go off to the uh, pot with the powder in to partly pressurise it and uh, I'll probably have to have two air connections coming in to actually get enough in with standard fittings so and then we've got the piece at the bottom for which connects to the uh, nozzle and so, yeah, next time, once I've worked out how much tungsten wire I want on it, and I need my uh, my control unit to come yet for the for the power. Was it a thio? No, oh, no. What was it called now? I can't remember now. Without looking at it, my brain's gone dead again. But it's all insulated in there. It's all coming on nicely. I got the thermocouple reader just the other day, so this can all be wired in with a plug so it can plug straight into the meter and you'll be able to directly read the temperature of the air on the end. So that should be awesome. And thank you for watching.